I don't know if that works, but we'll, we'll run with it for the time being. You think those mud bars work then? I thought yours didn't. Well, as you all know, I've only told you about 1,500 times. Day after Boxing Day, feeling a little bit better. We're gonna do a winter run, not massive kilometers, but it's something, right? Also, a big shout out to Jeff for saying hello. Thank you. And uh, guys, thanks for all your comments as well on the last video. I was made up actually, because I did feel a little bit like I'd let the team down a little bit. Myself, most importantly. Um, but the words of encouragement have pushed me on. And you're right, you know, we're gonna just try and get the, this is the first time I've ever done the Festive 500. And in this weather, now I know why people find it hard getting the 500 out in one week, let alone a couple of days. The wind is uh, as fierce as ever. I kind of knew that was coming. Join myself and Tom. Hiya. Hiya. And we will catch up with you guys when we get to Gok. Also known as good old Kingston. Gok known as good old Kingston, exactly. I don't know if that works, no. but we'll, we'll run with it for the time being. Also, Merry Christmas to you all. I know I've said it about six times now, but... Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 exactly. Anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in a bit, guys. Gok, hello. Hello. Are you ready for this uh, weather, this onslaught of wind and possible yeah, rain? It's quite windy, but yeah. we'll be alright. We'll do it, won't we? Are you confident? We'll be fine. No, confident? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> Right, it's pouring down with rain. I don't know why we've done this. The boys have supported me today. I kept begging everyone to come out with me. you, you alone. I've also got a raincoat in my bottle. However, I'm not using it because I felt bad. Tom hasn't got a raincoat, so I'm definitely healing. I've definitely rested. I've definitely eaten loads. I'm sure you guys have as well. Now we're burning some calories off. You know when you get caught in the rain and it's just pouring? And it's actually fine rays, it's even more annoying. <laughs> to be fair, once you're out there and you've got a decent level of protection, it's all right, it's not too bad. The winds, however, not great. Anyway, when we go to Windsor, we're in the Great Park at the moment. It's very beautiful. And also we can talk to each other and relax a little bit now, because when you're going along and there's cars going at ridiculous speeds and going close to you, it's, you've really got to focus, because no camera work at that point but i can get it out now so anyway on to winter we go cinnamon cafe get some food in us get some coffee hot chocolate whatever and uh we'll see you there wish us luck How am I feeling? Yeah, good. There's a bit of cake right there with my name on it. You think those mud guys work then? <laughs> well, yours didn't. <laughs> right, we're at the famous cinnamon cafe. What are you guys going for? Cinnamon bars? Yeah, sausage sandwich. Oh, oh we're going to change it up a little bit. I've got no mud on my face, they've not got mud guards. Yeah, I've got mud guards and they've got mud all over their face. 45k done. En route back now. A bit of mileage added to the festive 500. Fueled up, ready to go, and we're gonna try not to get too wet. Ready for yeah. the journey back. Exactly, ready for the journey back.
I'm on my own now. Tom left at Chertsey, he was feeling it in the legs, a bit too much to eat for Christmas. About 80k in, this was a good run out because obviously I was feeling a bit ill, as you all know. I've only told you about 1500 times, but good run out. Very, very windy again, a load of rain. Gox peeled off at Richmond and I'm heading back, feeling okay. It's fairly flat route Windsor, so that's good. Yeah, I think it's gonna pour down in a minute. So I'm gonna get the raincoat on and hammer it back and I'll see you when I get back in a bit. So I'm well done. I'm already changed. I'm I know. Done. How did you how did you get home so quick? Magic. <laughs> Fucking beastly legs, that's next, what it is. Exactly, exactly. You're joining me on the next one though, 250, yeah? 250. Yeah. yeah. 2.5 yeah. kilometers. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, mate. See you later, dude. So we've done it. Absolutely drenched. Torrential downpour on the way back. But felt okay. Tom got a train and then jumped off fairly near and just arrived a little bit ahead of me. But his legs were shot, his legs were gone. He hasn't ridden for well over, it's probably something like three weeks, so fair play to him. Got was cool, he's got some really serious, serious legs on him. He can sort of cope with a lot and he rides a lot, so that was good. I'm glad. So we've got just over 90k in the bag. Happy with that, considering the weather, and this is hard, right? And I don't know about you guys, but again, let me know. But when, when you think of the 500k, festive 500, you kind of think, actually, that's that's doable. I, I can I can achieve that. But with Christmas and New Year, you've got family, you've got friends, you've got work, and you've you're dependent on the weather. And let's be honest, if you live in the UK, weather it can be up and down, right? The weather's been fairly nice in terms of temperature, but in terms of wind and rain, it's not been good this week. And I don't like going out in the rain. I'm soaked. Once you're out, it's fine, but I wouldn't choose to. Yeah, trying to fit the riding in with everything else you've got going on in your life, plus being ill, it's, it's been a challenge, but I'm trying to rise to it, you know? I'm not giving up. I'm still trying to stick to my original plan, but maybe spread it out. I've got a lot of family commitments covered up as well. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try for you guys and for myself, but it's all about just getting as many as you can out and not, worrying too much i have to have a life as well like you guys did any of you guys get out today it's wednesday wednesday after boxing day if you did where did you go did you keep it flat did you go for hills we kept it pretty flat but it got it the headwinds were ridiculous again i wouldn't say they're as bad as christmas eve but they weren't good they weren't good and they're the drivers oh, i don't know what it is i don't know what like you're, you're, you're just annoying them just your presence not even the way you've ridden it's just your presence on that road that has really annoyed them. And they go quick, they go quick, it's mad, it's mad. They drive more dangerously in wet weather than they do in dry, it's just crazy, crazy. Anyway, please like, comment and subscribe if you're enjoying it. Thanks for all your views, your comments, that's been amazing. I'm buzzing about that, because, you know, I felt like you guys did it with me. And shout out to Jeff as well. It's nice talking to you, mate. This is part two. Is there gonna be a part three? Oh yeah. It's coming. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying the festivities still. I'll see you on the next one.